Hello and welcome back to Guillotine 18th Century Chemist Theater. Today we have a short little lesson on the concept of ionization energy and the trends that it follows in the periodic table. So these will build off what we talked about last time with it, the concept of an atomic radius. Um, so ionization energy is the amount of energy it takes to remove an electron from an atom or from an ion, depending on what you're looking at here. So we'll uh, see what these two are up to. They've been hunting Crazy Koala for a while here now. And so it's the amount of energy needed to remove an electron from an atom or an ion. Uh, if, if you're talking about an atom, the equation will look something like this. You're going to have an element, you're going to add energy, and that will give you enough energy to uh, rip an electron away from it. And you'll be left with a cation, plus one charge since you lost one electron. But that's just the first ionization energy. You could have a second ionization energy where you remove a second electron, or a third ionization energy, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, but, but, you know, the basic concept remains the same. And, and you have an idea of pretty much how many electrons things want to remove based on the valence electrons. Things that only have one valence electron, you're probably only going to be dealing with the first ionization energy. But something like aluminum that has three valence electrons to lose, you could very well see the first ionization, the second, and the third ionization energy. And so the vertical trend all ties back to radius. Uh, as, as atoms get bigger, or ions get bigger, the electrons are going to get farther away from the nucleus, and the nucleus is going to have less of a pull, so it should be easier to remove those electrons. Again, think of it sort of like if you have a dog in a park. Uh, it's much harder for someone to steal that dog from you if the dog's right next to you. No one's going to dog nap a dog right there, but let's say the dog's 40, 50, 60 feet away from you in the park. Um, it'll be easier for somebody who wants to kidnap your dog, not that someone's going to kidnap your dog, uh, but it would be easier for somebody to do that when your dog's farther away. But it's still going to take some energy to do, no matter how far away your dog is. Uh, the ionization energy always requires some energy. Now, the horizontal trend for ionization energy is also based off radius. And so as you go left to right, uh, your radius is going to get smaller, and so it's going to get tougher to remove those electrons. And again, so remember that the, the horizontal trend for atomic radius is often uh, misunderstood. But as I go left to right, remember that the number of protons are increasing, therefore the pool of the nucleus is increasing, and therefore those electrons are going to be held more tightly. So the dog's closer to you, so it's harder for someone to dog nap your dog. Maybe Fritz is your dog's name, who knows. Right? Remember that all ionization energies are positive. Um, even if you're something that wants to get rid of electrons, you're going to have to put a little bit of energy in. Think of it like you're, fi like you're fishing, you know. Um, you're always going to have to put some energy into getting a fish out of water. Even if you're at an amusement park and you're doing one of those little magnetic fish things uh, for a prize, uh, you're still going to have to put some energy in to get the fish out, even if it's very straightforward. And some you're going to have to put a lot of energy in. Um, you, could, you could imagine the ionization energy for something like a noble gas would be very, very high because they don't want to give off electrons at all. And so that's it. That's the trend of ionization energy here. Um, really, really not that tough, based right off radius. Um, and so what we're going to do then is we will finish up next time with the concept of electron affinity. Remember, if someone says they have a lot of affinity for you, that means they like you. Um, and, I, and, I, and I like the fact you guys like to listen to these videos. So uh, keep watching. Uh, thanks, thanks for uh, studying and, and working hard, and have a great day.